Torrey Pines, known for the U.S. Open and many other amazing golf tournaments. Located in San Diego, California. Today, we're playing Torrey Pines. <laughs> I can't do it. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are playing Torrey Pines, known for the US Open, many other golf tournaments. It's going to be interesting. We're playing stroke play at the north course on the front nine. We'll see how low we can go. Let's get right into it. little low-key intro here. We're at Torrey Pines. As you guys can tell based off the title, we did a little voiceover intro. I mean, just look at those views right there. The drone shot's unreal. Today, we're gonna see what can two solid golfers, scratch golfers, shoot on the front nine. We're gonna play stroke play straight up. They're having a tournament out here, so they only have one tee box set out, but I think we're just gonna try and like play towards the tips anyway. First time being out here, it's absolutely beautiful. To be a public course and be this nice and hold PGA Tour events, Oh, she just hit the pin. She just hit the pin on the fly, almost made that. Yeah. Okay. This is one of the best junior golf tournaments going on. It's junior right worlds. Now. Junior worlds. People from all over are here to compete, and it's unreal, the, the field, so. Crazy to watch how good these people are. First hole looks like a par four. Go. Straight away. I'm excited to see what we can shoot. I've heard it's a pretty tough course. I guess we'll find out. They're having a tournament out here, so it's in really good condition. Good old stroke play. All right, you guys know the drill. Flip in a tee, see who goes first here on this first hole. And it's me. Oh boy. So far, guys, on this trip, we've done some stroke play stuff, and it's been hard to watch. Today, hopefully, we can turn that around and play some good golf. Course is unreal. Our stroke play performance has been pretty pretty weak so far. At Olympic Club, we shot 80 the first day, both of us. Second day, we shot 79 and 78, so. I don't think we can uh, lose a ball out here. I mean, I think we'll find a way, but it looks pretty open to me. There's holes in the ocean, so it's never out of the question. We'll just say that. There was also no OB at the, uh, the lake course at Olympic Club, and we still played really bad. True. This is just a very big course. That's how I'd describe it, big and bold. Tried to work the cut, kind of overcut it. I mean, it looks like there's tons of room left and I might be blocked out, but we'll see. Good ball. It's the spot to be. Position A. First tee shot underway. Felt pretty solid. I mean, mine's a little right. Grant's in the middle of the pharaoh, which is huge. Prime position for, for Grant here. Last 12 hours have been quite the grind. We we basically, we played a big match. We played a big match yesterday at Pelican Hill with Bob to Sports and uh, Salim from, from Nelk Boys. And it ended up going really well. It was, it was a so great time. We super played, fun. We played Pelican Hill, which is one of the nicest courses that we played on the trip. After that, we had dinner. Uh, we didn't finish dinner until like 12 a.m. Drove down to San Diego. We got here at like, what was it? Like 1 a.m. Head hit the pillow. Had to wake up at, at 8. Woke up at 8. Played this morning. We've already played 18 and now we're, now we're on our second round today. We're going to be playing the front I know here, but it's been awesome. This trip has been absolutely unreal. It's hard to take it all in because we're playing it in such like a condensed, you know, trip that it's like so many nice courses at once. It's just, it's going to be awesome to watch this content back. More than anything, like Grant said, like once we start uploading this content, it's going to be really cool to see how it comes together because this is something we've, we've thought about now for over a month since we did our Florida trip. I think it's been longer even because we've talked about like doing a travel series or whatever and for a long time, <laughs> actually like a long, like almost a year probably. So it's here and, and we're loving it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. Uh, we appreciate all the support on the content. Yeah. 120 into the wind. Off that tee, I kind of spun it, which I'm actually thankful for because now I can go over the street. I got a 54. Here we go. I think we're gonna be putting. Went a hair right, I just wanted to make sure I got it over that tree. Yeah, we're putting. 120 yards, stroke play. I got a 50, here we go. Oh, we might have made it. He might have made it. Oh, baby boy. Oh, baby, what a shot. I thought he made that. We couldn't hit any putts on the practice green because they'd have like a whole tournament out here. So I'm gonna hit one putt. Okay, they seem really fast. These things are rolling. Downhill, right to left. Grant's gonna make birdie if I had to guess. I gotta assume. This is actually moving a lot right to left. One thing that I started this trip is intermediate targets. It's been a huge difference for me. For me, it's harder to focus on something in the distance rather than something really close to me. So like for me right now, I'm picturing rolling it over this right now. How'd I catch 
killed that. Surprised that short. Thought I hit that pretty hard. There it is. Nice bird. Thank you. Come on. What? I've been doing that. Been missing putts. I really have. This whole trip has been a struggle for me from the short putts. If I could dial that in, I feel like I'd be playing so much better. I missed so many of those this trip. It's unreal. That's where in the stroke play, if you start missing those putts, it can just drag on. Match play is a little bit different just because you can always be aggressive on the putts. It really doesn't matter as much. When it's stroke play, man, you gotta be grinding everything out. We are now entering the undertow, which is one of the toughest three hole stretches on the PGA Tour. Let's get right back to the action. Quite the unfortunate bogey on the first hole. Three putt really sting most of the time. Actually all the time. It's, it's tough to get that out of the brain, but I'm gonna try and erase it. Short term memory here. On to the next, a little dog leg left, par four. Grant's currently one under, I'm currently one over. This is quite funny. I mean, Grant and I, we played the bear trap and it's known for being one of the toughest stretches of holes, but look at this. You are now entering the undertow, hole two, from the tips, 496, we're par three, 241, hole four, 479. One of the toughest three hole stretches on the PGA Tour right here. This is gonna be a true test of our skill. We're actually not even playing the tips today because I don't even have the tee box set out today. We're just playing whatever's closest to the cart. This is a slower day. You guys gotta remember this is a public course, which is just insane to think about that if you're a resident of this county, it's like $30 to play. 30, so yeah, it's $35, $35 or something. A little dog really left, par four. Good start by the way. Thanks man. Nice birdie. Thanks, man. Dude, I got a hold of that one. We knew that was left of the lady, but her reaction was, you can see it on camera. Yeah. She's like, I knew it wasn't gonna hit her. That's the risk with yelling four. You yell four, sometimes they run towards the ball. Okay, that's not something to laugh about, but like, it's serious. Like, that is true. Like, we'll yell max as loud as we can, and he'll just start running. Look down the left side? I think it's maybe just left of the fairway. I think mine's perfect, but I actually don't really know. This lady was scared for her life over here. I'm not gonna say anything, not there she is. One, not this one, is that one over there? Wait a second, am I okay? All right, Garrett's is in the hazard, but you don't have anything. I'm actually not minding that. It's a very, very tight line. And you can spin it. I can spin it. I'm actually over here. We actually don't have that far in. The thing is, we're not playing all the way back. And there's another tee box that was like so far back. It was like a 500 yard par four. We played one up from that. So we still played it long. Yeah, 173. I'm going to go with an eight iron. This view, I just, I can't get over it. Dude, California does have insane terrain. Everywhere you go, I feel like it's just naturally beautiful. I love California. Other than the fact that it's so expensive to live here, I love it. We're over here just on the right. I'm taking a thousand practice swing. 170 yards. I got an eight iron. I'm going to hit it full. Rider. Rider. Landed right next to it, rolled out a bit. Dude, how did that just roll out? Oh boy, that was that was it. I'm actually in the hazard. Have a nice lie though. I didn't think it was gonna be this far left. Got 130. I got the 50 degree. Let's see if we can put one in there tight. Not mad about it. It's fun a little bit, but I gotta put up the hill. Let's go. I'm trying to see, I think this goes a little bit to the right. Just gotta trust my stroke. I've been rolling it end over end on my lines. Let's just hope that I got the right line here. Dang, get it halfway there, yeah. Yikes. That was a very timid stroke, honestly. All right, guys, we landed about that close to the pen, and we ended up here. This trip has been crazy. This is like closest I've come to holing out on a trip in my life. I usually don't come that close, and this one I've had like four scares. Here we go, a little left to right. Oh. Oh. I actually I'm surprised I did not go in. Come on. So I miss a two footer, but I make a five. Hey, you never know. It's like a box of chocolates, honestly. Step on the course, you just don't know what you're gonna get. It's either gonna be really good or really bad or somewhere in between. I can't say this. All right, here we are. On to our third hole of the day. I'm currently one over. Grant's currently one under. Grant's really putting it on me pretty hard here today. He's coming out swinging. This is what we're looking at, and I'm not kidding. From the tips, this is 256 into the wind, par three. Like I said, we're basically just playing whatever tee box is closest to our carts when we pull up, and we're playing the tips here. This is a little scary. Not scary, just a long hole. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a good poke. 
with this hybrid. I gotta, I gotta get everything. I gotta hit it on the screws. See, that statement, is, it's invalid at this time and day and age, but there used to be screws on the club face here, and if you hit it in the center, you'd usually hit the screw or something. See, if I gripped it like this, I could just go. Wait, tell me who this is, don't we? It's, yeah. All right, let's see if they can guess. Who on the PJ Tour is this? <laughs> that was so accurate, actually. Have you ever swung like that? Yeah. You should try and swing like that one day. Just swing bow your that. wrist and just hold the In fade. the comments. That was actually really accurate. He I'm not even kidding. Grit. That was so accurate. I watched him a lot as a kid, just glued to the screen. It's a full hybrid today. Right edge of that bunker. I get. Ah. Uh, bunker. Yeah. And I hit that good too. Oh, over it. Yeah, you're fine. Chipping. Nice. I go for the draw, honestly. That was plenty of club. It feels like it's into, but I don't really think it is. Oh, I'm left too. That's, That's good. It's right where I am. Over oh, you can't. Dude, we're like next to each other. Right. We followed each other. All right, guys. Here we go. Nice little chip. Oh, this looks beautiful. Let's you can get this up and down. Go. Let's go. Come on. It checked up a good bit. You know, Grant, I don't know if I can give that one to you. Confidently, I don't know if I can sit here and be okay with you taking that putt. Stroke fly. You gotta put everything out. Alright, a little left to right chip here. Come on. Honestly, from 256 to be here, I'm not mad about it. Gotta roll, no? Gotta roll, no? Gotta roll, mate. Right. It's not a bad thing, but the greens are actually not as fast as I expected them to be. They're probably rolling at about a 10 right now. What did you say about a 10? They're, they're nice though. They're really, they're really nice. nice. A lot faster than the course we played this morning. Mm -hmm. That tree looks like the famous tree here. That literally looks like the logo. I think it might be. Fine. That might be the tree that's the logo here. I think that might be. Screens. Oh, oh, we can get a thumbnail. All right, here we go. I don't know exactly where this goes, but I, I think I know. There's definitely a chance I know where this putt goes. It goes in the oh. hole. Dude, I thought I was gonna get another lip out today. I would have been a little upset, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and he rams it in the back. Nice putt. Thank you. Grant is cruising today. He's currently one under through three. I'm currently one over through three, which not mad about, other than that three putt. On to dog egg left, par four. This is unreal. Look at this. We said we were gonna play close to the to the cards, but for this hole, we just we gotta go all the way back. It's too beautiful. Look at the ocean. We gotta go all the way back. It's too beautiful. Look at the ocean. 479 par four. Wow, wow, wow. That is a very long hole. Look at this. That's what we're looking at here, guys. Dog leg left, par four. California is just special. We've said it a lot. All right, you're good to go. Dude, let's see what Grant can do here. Dog leg left, par four. Yeah, that'll play. Nice fairway. I'm gonna try and launch this one, Granosaurus. I like that. I'm just trying, guys, I'm trying to just really pace myself with stroke play. Take it hole by hole. Oh yeah, that's gonna be through the fairway. Uh, I cut it low, I think it, I got, I got hope. Sit. Yeah. That's fun. Yes, baby. Well, those are two fairways. I think we'll take that all day. Rarely do we both hit two fairways, you know? <laughs> we'll take that all day, especially on this course. You gotta be in the fairway. I guess you don't have to be in the fairway, but... I feel like when they have it at US Open conditions, absolutely, they gotta grow the rough so high, but these fairways are super tight. Have you noticed? Yeah. I'm trying to picture myself as a PGA Tour player. I feel like if you're a long hitter, this is your course. But if you're a short hitter, it would be really tough for you. Like I mean, yeah, you're, you're hitting four irons into so many of the greens. Like, you yeah. gotta hit it easily 300 plus to have any mid irons. Obviously, some of the holes are pretty short. For the most part, though, this course is long and tight. Right. When they grow the rough out, I mean, you're dead when you're in the rough. You're I agree. Dead. It's crazy. So, two, long hitters have a huge advantage here. Two great drives here. 179, 185, 85. That's sick. When it's this far for me, I kind of just aim for the middle of the green and just play it there. I don't Ooh. really try and get too precise. I want to hit it to the center of the green. You cannot get try and get too precise from 200 yards. Yeah, like why would you at the end of the day? Right. Unless you're down in a match or something. But you're up right now. We're playing stroke play. That's the smart thing to do. 185 here, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go with the 600. I'm almost going to try and cut it. Aim for the Ooh. center of the green. If it leaks to the right, it will. That's cool. The wind's pushing it, though way too so it should work to cut naturally shouldn't have to try right. 
Not bad. I mean, I think it's in the bunker just short of it. Yeah, that's right. All right, 175. Got a little baby seven. We're just trying to cut it in there like Grant did. Same shot here. Oh, it's right at it. I almost shanked it, Grant. Got to get lucky. It got lucky, all right, on the green. I hit that so bad, brother. That was a good, I mean, that was a good miss, though. Yeah, golf is a game of misses, but that was, like, so low on the face. That means your path and face were square, though. That is good. Yeah. That's a good sign. As you can tell, quite a bit short here, but I got a putt up the hill. Can't complain. After hitting the ball where I did on the face, Grant is right here in the bunker. Honestly, a really nice lie right there and a really good, sh a really nice angle for this bunker shot. All right, here we go. That was really good though. Fun a little bit to the right. It's okay, I'll take it. Okay, here we go guys. I'm gonna get this angle of Garrett. Dude. What? Wow. I didn't think that pin was gonna be in play. Everything looks like it pushes this way. Even this putt looks straight downhill, and that actually went left. Everything breaks towards the ocean, and it's that way. But technically speaking, there's an ocean that way. Think about it, see what I'm saying? Well, there's oceans everywhere. Exactly, so it breaks everywhere. No, dude. Dude, I've been getting like really adamant about my putts. I've been getting intense today. I've been talking to my ball like crazy. I mean, that's my second three putt of the day. If I could just dial in my putting, I'd be playing so well. That was a little frustrating, but it's all good. Nice. And he is just not missing today. One under through four. I'm two over through four now. On to our fifth hole. That one stings. That one stings a little bit, but Grant's still having a day. One under. I love to see it. We all love to see it. I don't know what's up there. I feel like there's gotta be a catch to this hole. There's gotta be something up there that makes it has defense, you know? Not bad. I think that's perfect, no? All right, how far do you got here, Grant? We got 200, a little over 200 yards, 210, 215. I'm gonna hit a four iron. It's uphill a little bit. Just gonna try and hit a nice relaxed one. To control this distance. <laughs> Let's see what he can do here, guys. In position A for Grant, especially one under par. Loving the way he's feeling. Oh boy. Right at right at you, bro. Yeah. You yelled that so loud. Ryder, that's right at you, brother. You just said it. Dude, I pure that. Jeez. That was nice. Your long irons are so good, actually. Have you noticed that? To this trip, they've been solid. It's a hit or miss. Like always they are. Probably hit like a pitching wedge just to flex on me. This is meters. It says 155. 176. I don't know how that got changed. I think maybe you grabbed it and accidentally hit it. Watch it been in meters this whole time. Dude, I don't know what to trust now, Grant. I got nine. Not quite full. I honestly am starting to be a little confused at what my actual yardage is. It said 155, but I think that might have been in meters. Four! You're just short. I think that was the right club. I Caught it a little high on the face. No, I said middle. I'm on the green. I thought I was like down there. This is crazy. I think this goes left, but then again, I thought my last putt went right and went left. I'm just going to hit this and trust it. It went right. If I could just get like my reads dialed in, I think it would be in a really good spot. It's pretty straight. Dude, look that. at that break left. <sighs> How's it? Yes! Holy knee bouncing. <laughs> Someone commented on the Reddit page and said you're gonna like hyper extend yeah, your knees. I, that is bad. I gotta stop doing that because when you put pressure right there, it's not healthy for your knees. Your joints, it's awful. Two under for the man grant. You know the saying, act like you've been there before? I feel like on those short putts, normally I'm fine, but this whole trip I've been missing like probably 70% of my putts around three feet. Missing like 70% of my putts I feel like around four, three, two, and five feet. So when I made that, I was just like, yes. Every time, it's the little wins, man. It's the little wins. On to the next, straightaway par four. Driver hand for Grant. See if he can do another birdie. He's two under, I'm impressed. I'm one over. It's gonna be all right over there. Short path. 
Oh, that's my miss right now. I don't know why. I'm missing it a little bit right, but that's okay. Dude, that was it. Oh, is that bunker? I think it's past it. Driving up the fairway, I think mine's actually in a really good spot. I launched that one well. Grant hit his well, it was just a little bit right over there. The thing is about this course, since they don't have the rough super thick, playing really easy today. Yeah. Really easy. Cut all that out, Ryder. They might have just seen that. I was like biting my nail and I ripped my nail off and threw it. That was kind of gross. So. Yeah, yeah, just gonna... zoom it in on me when, when he was try doing it. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, the thing is, today they don't have the rough grown out too much, so the course is actually playing really easy. Honestly, I'm, yeah. The only reason I'm over par is because I three putted a couple times and like you're two under which is really solid the greens are so nice he hit it a little bit right but this is totally fine over here 140 yards like bubby would say oh garrett bounce straight left off the lip of the bunker and go in the hole watch <laughs> it watch it watch it <laughs> if that went in, no one would ever believe it. Because you were just like, do this, this, and this, and it actually did it. That was cool. All right, here we go. 106 here. Straight away, I got the 54 in the door. Oh. Played out of the rough with that lie. just kind of expected it. Little right. I'll take it. Little down the hill, right to left. I think, Grant, you're actually out, brother. Really? This one's got to go this way. Well, you see I'm wearing underneath? Yeah. The same thing. Dude, I'm still in this to win this. Okay, we gotta drive a little par four. I may be one over, but Grant's two under and I still have a chance. That's all I'm saying. Every hole, I just gotta stroke away at Grant. If I can get a stroke on him here, that'd be huge. That's a huge pop for the... Hold that one a little bit. I had the line too. Yeah, we can drive this, brother. It's like 305, par four. I really got let off on that. It's only like 303, 305. It's not that far. Hey, Macalena, Macalena, Macalena. This is quite the outfit, I'll tell you. Dude, you should be hitting up a skating rink. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rider slider pants is getting up there. <laughs> He's getting the angle. Hey, you gotta hit the shot. We'll get the angle, we gotta hit the shot, all right? That's oh. on, probably. Gotta go. Uh, just short. All right, it was a good ball though. I don't think I could get there with driver. I would have sure. to kill it. Is it a high fade for me? I mean, it's the risky play, but that's the only thing is like, I want to try and land it soft, you know? Oh, you're saying? easily, no, I think a normal stock driver swing, you're going to be in the center of the green. You're not going to go way over. I think I had enough if I hit it really solid there. Too much fade. Overcut it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Oh. Put it down. Never saw it come down. So you just started left. That was it, too. It was all starting point. Hit that so good. Dang it. You said you hit the car path three times. No. All the way over there? Yeah, you hit the car path three times. I'm all the way over there. I don't even know how far I got. We're gonna trust He's eyeballing it. That is crazy how far he went. Oh! What a shot! That was nuts. Ooh. Oh. A little jump skid and pop. Wouldn't have thought you would have less in. <laughs> yeah. I think I am inside of a grant, but I'm going to go. Just kind of speed it up. A little left to right. Sending a stroke away at him. Three holes left. <sighs> really good putt, though. Can't complain. Okay, guys. Here we go. Dude. Oh. That was to get him to three under at Tory. That was a good roll. I thought he made that for sure. I'm sorry, brother. I think that one deserves a rating. Oh, it's a, at least a nine. Because it went down speed. in. That was down in the cup, came up out. No pressure. You have three strokes on me here, okay? 165. Oh, and no pressure to say the least. This is so good. Kick forward and right. In the bucket. Wait, what? I had a nine. Oh, it's I, like 165. I have nine as well. It's downhill. Gotta get a stroke on Grant here. Oh. Gotta go, no? Oh. Yeah, that that's nine? Cool too, yeah. I think it's a little into. Let's see if I can make it. I gotta go for it. I wanna send it. I got nothing to lose here. Everyone brace yourselves. Grant is going for spin. Oh, and he oh. did it. Dude. 
he's got some finesse in those fingertips, I'll tell you. Definitely not a gimme, and if I make this, I can put some pressure on him going into the last hole for sure. It's all about reading these greens. If I had like a full-blown caddy, I'd feel very confident on these greens because they're so pure. Okay, this looks right, and I sure hope it is. No! Dude, I wanted it so bad. I wanted every putt so bad. That's why I've been getting so intense when I barely missed today. Golf is, it's a mentally draining sport when you're not making the putts. Uh, it didn't really matter. That's a really good par. From that bunker to be able to spin it as much as he did with his soft hands, that's impressive. That's a really good par. Can't even see it. Where is it? Well, on to our final hole of the video. Hopefully you guys I flipped, the, I flipped the screen around. Yeah, he flipped it around as I. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this video. This has to be one of my favorite videos of the series here in California that we've done. We're literally playing Torrey Pines. It feels unreal the whole time. It's surreal to be on such a historic property. I think more than anything, yeah, the course is pure and whatnot, but the history behind this course is what makes it so special for me playing it. I've watched this course on TV. It's so cool, man. Wow, I can see myself in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's finish strong, baby. Come on. I hit a sling and draw there. I tried to hit that a little lower, and I did it. Oh, he got after it. Yeah, it was hard. Hard, hard if that one ran it for it. It should carry everything. Our left foot's go like this every time. On that one, I swung hard. So normally, when I do that, it's like you gotta clear, you gotta clear. And if you don't, it's not good. Look at that helicopter. All right, Grant, what do we got here? We got like 270 to the pin. I'm gonna try and cut this three wood in there. Dude, this would be really sick. If I could get this pattern down. You know it's what's gonna happen every time because it comes up here because it's a two turn. path instead of like right. one path sometimes it gets a little Something tricky. Can get all, yeah, this you know what you know what to expect you get right here But it's hard to shallow that sometimes it always does feel good when I do that But it never works. Should we just like totally change our golf swing? We changed our golf swing for a week we Change our golf swing for a year. Let's see what happens. I'm starting this way left. Yeah, give it a full send Dude be good You're on the front edge. I'm on the green. Nice shot, Grant! Woo! Nice shot, Let's dude. Let's go, that was all of my three wood. For me to hit a 270, that's all of it. That was good. You gotta go for the high cut, Grant. 240. It's pretty dark out here, guys. You can't tell by the lens, but. Got this face wide open. Oh, dude, that's hot. That is hot. That's gotta sit. It did not cut. Out of the rough, yeah, it never cuts. It's the it? rough. You can't try and work a ball out of the rough. It does get tricky. Wow, I'm a bit long here. This is not great. Got a little bit of a flyer over there. 54, I don't have my 58. Trying to hit a flop shot. I got a hole out if I want any chance. I got to hope for a four, four putt from Grant. Yeah, we'll see. No way. No way. No way. Oh. Oh, you almost made it. Now you got a six-buck, Grant. Woohoo! Wow, I did not think it was gonna be that close. I just hit it, and I knew I hit it good. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, How did that just roll out that much? I did not even hit that that hard. It just picked up speed. I need a read. Come on, Garrett. At this point, I just want to find the bottom of the cup. A decent amount of... Oh, I didn't hit it. That is such a bummer. Hey, he still shot two under though. That's really solid. I really did when I hit that putt there. I thought that was perfect speed. That just goes to show. It's tough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, stay tuned for the finale of the California, the California golf trip. We're finishing tomorrow. Encinitas Ranch with a PGA Tour Pro. Let us know who you think it is. We're doing a 2v2 18 hole scramble. It's gonna get intense. I can already feel it. I'm excited. Grant and I played really well today. We hit it really well, so that means we can probably go low tomorrow. I heard the course is very scoreable. So we can dial it in. I think we might have a chance. You know, we played solid today. He is a PGA Tour pro and he is really good. So it's going to be tough. Yeah, we'll, we're, we're fine. We I'm got confident this. in our two-man scramble. Like, I feel like we can compete with almost anyone. I really do. I mean, that's a bold statement, but I know I, tr I truly believe it. And if you don't believe it, I don't know why you're playing, you know? You, you got to believe it. that you can compete with anybody. And I do. I believe when we get hot together, I mean, we've been nine under through 11, like we can compete. So we're going to get dialed. Fun hey, day. But Dude, good round. You yeah. took the dub. Felt good. Bogey free. Actually. Yeah, that's really solid. 200 for Grant. 
even par for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stay tuned for that final video, the final two videos. It's been a blast so far. Until next time, guys. Peace out.